This is preeminently the time to speak the truth frankly and boldly. We observe today not a victory of party, but a celebration of freedom. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. Symbolizing an end as well as a beginning, signifying renewal as well as change. This great nation will endure as it has endured. We'll revive and we'll prosper. I stand before you tonight in my red star chiffon evening gown. My face softly made up and my fair hair gently waved. <laughs> the Iron Lady of the Western World. Let the word go forth from this time and place to friend and foe alike that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans born in this century. If we can blast 50 women into space, we will someday launch a woman into the White House. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling this time, thanks to you, it's got about 18 million cracks in it. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, 221 years ago, in a hall that still stands across the street, a group of men gathered and with these simple words launched America's improbable experiment in democracy. But first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance.